Hi guys, uh, my name is Steve. Welcome to Disruptive Wealth Creation. Today we are talking about robots, how they are disrupting and changing the world, and what shares might be worth considering for a long term investment. If you enjoy the video, please give us a like, and if you want to see more content, don't forget to hit the subscriber button. Robots have always been associated with science fiction and taking over the world. There are lots of great movies out there like The Terminator and The War of the Worlds. With the advent of automated systems, self-driving cars, artificial intelligence, gene sequencing and now talk of going to Mars and colonising it, it is not surprising that robots and artificial intelligence are raising their profile again. Some people are intrigued and interested, others are worried. If we take Sophia, the social and humanoid robot developed by Hong Kong Hanson Robotics and activated in 2016, she has 60 facial expressions and has had conversations with Will Smith and Tony Robbins. The truth, for the moment, is that robots still need to be controlled and programmed. They do not have true autonomous capabilities yet. They cannot think for themselves. And, but having said all of that, Elon Musk has suggested that governments do need to take a long, hard look and start thinking about some kind of regulation in terms of robots and robotics. Anyway, for the moment, at least, robots are here to take on our repetitive and mundane jobs in factories, whether it be lifting boxes or making cars, and hopefully improving our quality of life by creating new undiscovered jobs for us in the future. Before we get into ro robotics investments, let's have a look at a company called Boston Dynamics. They're based in Boston, Massachusetts, USA. They are a leading robotics and engineering company, founded in 1992, and since December 2020, are now owned by Hyundai Motor Group. Boston Dynamics are known for its series of dynamic, highly mobile robots, which are now commercially available for purchase. As you can see, many of these robots have moved away from the traditional wheelbase that only allowed them to work on flat surfaces. Now many of these robots have legs. These robots are now more agile. They have great balance and they use lithium batteries and are lightweight with parts made from 3D printing. These robots even have names like Atlas, Spot and Handle. What makes them useful is the work that they can do both indoors and outdoors. Atlas is the world's most dynamic humanoid robot. It has the power and balance to demonstrate human level agility. It can navigate through rough terrain and can climb independently using its arms and legs. Spot, a quadruped robot, robot dog, is designed for indoor and outdoor operations. It can carry heavy things, detect gas leaks and perform tasks in various areas such as construction, healthcare, mining, entertainment and research. Its current price is around $74,500. Handle is a robot that can identify and locate boxes. It can upload trucks and build pallets. It can pick up to 360 boxes per hour. It has two flexible legs on wheels and two hands for manipulating and carrying objects. It is two meters tall and can travel at nine miles per hour. It has a range of 25 kilometers on a one battery charge. So, why should we or you invest in robotic companies? Any investor with a long-term portfolio 
should have at least one robotic stock. Robots have become cheaper to make. Their cost, complexity and mobility are diminishing limitation factors. Robotics is improving in both quality, productivity and efficiency. The pandemic has accelerated the need for robots to do our dangerous and repetitive work. So here are the top three robotic stocks for the digital revolution. The new machine age and the revolution of algorithms. The top three robotic stocks are for 2021. One, iRobots Corporation, and the NASDAQ ticker for that is IRBT. The second company is Teradyne, and the NASDAQ ticker for that is TER. And the third company is Intuitive Surgical, and the NASDAQ ticker for that is ISRG. The first company worth looking at is iRobots Corporation. They are an American technology company founded in 1990 by three members of MIT's Artificial Intelligence Lab who designed robots for the space and the military. Now they design and build consumer robots. The most popular robot being the Roomba vacuum cleaner which cleans while you work. Another product which is popular is the robot lawnmower. They come in different sizes and ranges and can mow up to 5,000 metres square of grassland. Then there is also the window cleaning robot. Here is, a, is the iRobots I financial report from their website. And this shows that their revenue, their operating income, their earnings per share and their net income for 2019. Despite a small dip, it looks like they're doing a very good job. All of their products sell in the US, Europe, Middle East and Africa. Pre-pandemic, there was a strong growth in quality, price and sales. And expectation is that post-pandemic, they will do even better. With iRobot, they were or are $52 million in debt, with $375 million cash sales up in the last five years. It's difficult to know whether these products are a fad, or they will become mainstream and common everyday products. Whichever, expect some volatility in this stock. The share price, however, would suggest that they are on their way up, and their market cap is $3.35 billion. The second company worth looking at is Teradyne, founded in Boston, Massachusetts in 1960 by Alex D. Ardaloff and Nick De Wolf. Between the years 2008 and 2018, they acquired the following companies Eagle Test Systems, Next Test Systems, Lightpoint, Universal Robots, Mobile Industrial Robots and Enigrid. Teradyne's mission is to leave dirty, dangerous and dull jobs to robots. Looking at Teradyne's financials, they have had revenue of $759 billion, $759 million in quarter 4 in 2020 a growth of 16% from quarter 4 in 2019. Their full revenue grew by 36%. Teradyne shares, despite a small dip at the beginning of 2020, have been steadily rising. Their market cap is $20.94 billion. Long term, Teradyne are likely to do well as there becomes more industrialisation <coughs> and Covid starts pushing car companies and mass production companies more into robotics. The third and last robotic company worth looking at is Intuitive Surgical Inc. 
They are an American corporation that develops, manufactures and markets robotic products designed to improve clinical outcomes where minimal evasive surgery is carried out. Using their Da Vinci surgical system, as of December the 31st, 2019, they had 5,582 Da Vinci surgical systems, including 3,531 in the United States, 977 in Europe, 780 in Asia and 294 in the rest of the world. The Da Vinci surgical system is designed to enhance the surgeon's capabilities. Over the past three years, the number of hospitals that are operating five or more Da Vinci systems at a single campus has grown by more than 400%. In summary, as stated before, every long-term investor should have at least one robotic company in their portfolio. These companies are the future. In factories, these robots are moving materials around and carrying out functions with a huge impact on industry in reducing accidents and greatly increasing productivity. Robots do not go off sick. Robots do not need tea breaks or holidays, and their work is uniform and consistent. Robots also have sensors, which mean they can navigate around sites and identify and, identify and avoid obstacles. In hospitals, the work robots carry out is enabling doctors to carry out work with minimal invasive surgery, offering surgeons superior visualisation and optimal performance. The reason it is worth investing in robotics is because when change comes, it will be rapid and dramatic. We are already seeing changes and breakthroughs in 3D printing. See my other video. In artificial intelligence and in autonomous cars. This will catch a lot of investors out. So make sure you do your homework and don't get caught out yourself. If you have enjoyed this video, please give us a like and if you want to see more content, remember to press the subscriber button below. See you in the next video. Thank you.